Brothers and sisters, a friend of mine offered me a book entitled A Skeptic's Search for Meaning, written by Mike Willisy. Mike was a well-known Australian journalist. He worked for the Daily News and The Age. He also joined Australia's first nightly show, This Day Tonight, before hosting the ABC's Four Corners. He founded and presented A Current Affair for Channel 9, then hosted The Mike Willisy Show and created many documentaries and interviewed a lot of important people. He passed away in 2019. Towards the end of his life, he started asking himself questions about the purpose of life. At the age of 51, he achieved everything he wanted, and he didn't know what to do next. He saw that he was lacking any kind of spiritual life. He was not sure whether he believed in God, but somehow he felt that he didn't need to convert. He was asking himself how to revert back to the faith he once had. He was baptized Catholic and even served at Mass as an altar boy in his childhood. However, at the age of 15, he stopped going to church. So, how did he revert back to God? He started to investigate so-called Eucharistic miracles and different supernatural events occurring around the world. He visited places where a consecrated host visibly became body and blood. For example, he went to Buenos Aires, Argentina, where the Eucharistic miracle took place in 1996. Eventually, Mike came back to God because he was able to prove the Lord's true presence in the Eucharist. In today's Gospel, we read, After hearing this doctrine, many of his followers said, This is intolerable language. How could anyone accept it? What was the teaching some followers of Christ couldn't accept? Jesus was telling them about the reality of his body and blood. He said, If you do not eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you will not have life in you. Anyone who does eat my flesh and drink my blood has eternal life, and I shall raise him up on the last day. For my flesh is real food, and my blood is real drink. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood lives in me, and I live in him. As I who am sent by the living Father, myself draw life from the Father, so whoever eats me will draw life from me. This is the bread come down from heaven. Not like the bread our ancestors ate. They are dead, but anyone who eats this bread will live forever. The same bread Jesus was talking about is present with us at every Mass. After Jesus' announcement, many of his disciples left him and stopped going with him. They clearly understood him. The bread of life wasn't a metaphor. Jesus asked them to eat his body and drink his blood. It was too much to accept. That's why they have gone. I guess we all know people who were baptized, received the sacraments, including Holy Communion, and then stopped following Jesus, as Mike Willis did in his childhood. I guess we all meet people who don't believe in the real presence of Jesus in the Eucharist, even though the science has verified it. Forensic pathologists saw in consecrated hosts a part of a human heart and found the same type of blood, AB, in all the Eucharistic miracles. By the way, it is the same blood type found in the Shroud of Turin. Brothers and sisters, I invite you to renew your faith in the real presence of our Saviour in the Eucharist. Please accept Jesus' teaching. If you don't believe Him, Investigate yourselves. Check the facts behind the Eucharistic miracles that happened in different parts of the world, starting with Lanciano, Italy. Let me encourage you by saying that in the year 750, a priest doubted whether the body of our Lord was truly present in the consecrated host. It happened at the Church of St. Francis. After saying the words of consecration, he saw the host turning into flesh and the wine turning into blood. 
According to Dr. Edward Linoli, who performed a detailed scientific examination of this relic, the flesh is still intact today, and it is an authentic flesh consisting of muscular striated tissue of the myocardium. The blood is true blood as well. I was lucky to be able to see it with my own eyes in Lanciano. I recommend that you visit that place in Italy as well. Brothers and sisters, let us allow Jesus to nourish us with his body and blood frequently, remembering his words, anyone who does eat my flesh and drink my blood has eternal life.